So we learned that if you have a solution A, uh, the concentration does not change if you have one liter of that solution or two liters of that solution. Uh, but what happens if you add more solvent? Remember, so solute is the thing that gets dissolved by the solvent, and solvent is the majority of the solution. So the relationship between the volume and the concentration is an indirectly proportional uh, relationship. Uh, that means if you increase the volume without adjusting the amount of solute, accordingly, uh, the concentration will decrease. So say you have a cup of salt water. If you add more water into the cup without adding more salt, you will say that the salt water is now diluted. And that means the concentration of the salt in the salt water solution has been reduced. So the relationship is initial volume times initial concentration equal final volume times final concentration. So let's do a question so we could have a better understanding of what that means. Say you have um, 200 mils, milliliters, uh, of a 3.0 molar sodium chloride solution. If, if you dilute it to one liter, what would be the new concentration of this sodium chloride solution? So let's summarize the question. VI, the initial volume, is equal to 200 milliliters, equal to 0.2 liters. So let's convert to liters so you can see that we are dealing with liters everywhere in the question. You have three molar means three mole per liter, and you have one liters over here in the, in the question as well. So CI equal to three molar. Okay, next. If you dilute it to one liter, so that means uh, VF, the final volume, is equal to one liter. What will be the near concentration? So our challenge is to find the final concentration, CF. Let's apply the relationship above. Uh, one simple way to think about this is whatever you want to find, uh, let it be CF or VI. Keep it there in this side of the uh, equation and move the term next to it to the other side and flip it. So what do you mean by that? So you have VI, uh, CI equal VF, uh, CF. So if you want to find CF, uh, then the term next to CF is VF. All you need to do is move that VF onto the other side and flip it. So you divide. What if you want to find VI, for example, while already knowing CI, CF, and VF? Well, you simply just keep VI there and bring CI to the other side and divide that term by CI. Okay, let's get back to the question. The final concentration of the sodium chloride solution is therefore um, CF equal to VI, CI equal, divided by VF, uh, and that will be equal to um, 0 0.60 moles per liter. So after adding more solvent to the solution, the concentration is diluted down to 0 0.6 moles per liter instead of 3 moles per liter. Now, if you take 200 milliliters out of this 1 liter of diluted solution, put in a new beaker, then make it up to 1 liter again, what will be the new concentration? So I would like you to calculate this. But the answer is that the final concentration will be 0.12 um, moles per liter. Now notice the volume ratio. So you take 200 ml of a solution and dilute it to 1 liter. Now the dilution factor of that dilution is um, 0.2 to 1 or 1 to 5. It means that every time you take out 200 milliliters and dilute it to one liter, uh, we are decreasing the concentration by five times.